proof of age. So if you are a minor applicant, uh, we definitely would recommend the birth certificate just to show proof of, you know, the, the parent because the parent also has to co-sign on the documents as far as the application, um, social, social security card. Um, we would also, we prefer and recommend um, high school transcripts or the last transcripts of the school they attended if it's not a high school. Um, if they've graduated, we definitely need to make sure that if they're a high school graduate, that we have proof of graduation such as a diploma or an official transcript showing a graduation date. Um, as far as the income documents, and it can be an array of things such as um, a pay stub, it can be W-2s within the last six months, um, tax returns, um, other income such as as far as the low income documents, um, food steps as far as proof of eligibility, um, TANF, then you'd be income eligible. If you receive free lunch, you'd be eligible for as far as income. Um, if it's pay stubs, monthly pay stubs, um, that would be acceptable. Um, if you are a foster child within the last six months and if you can show documentation of that, you can have that. So there is a, an array of um, avenues when it comes to your documentation, especially for income. And don't worry, please don't be discouraged if you don't have any of those items. We definitely try to work with our applicants to make sure that you have what you need because we want to be invested in the process with you from beginning to end. Don't worry, if you have any issues when it comes to obtaining documentation, please let your admissions counselor know. We are definitely vested in making sure that you have the proper documentation so you can get in the program. So we do have connections and partnerships with schools as well as with other social service agencies to assist you and to get in that documentation.